Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. In this video we'll have a look at Outlook Web Access, which is part of Windows Small Business Server 2003. Help us continue to make material like this available. To make a donation, go to donation.satinalliance.com.au So what is Outlook Web Access? It is mainly for accessing emails remotely on a Windows server. It's basically like Hotmail in the fact that you can access your emails via a web browser without the installation of any software on the client machine. When you use Internet Explorer to access Outlook Web Access, it looks very much like Outlook and acts very much like Outlook. However, it is possible to use Outlook Web Access with other browsers, but this functionality level is not quite the same. Normally you'll access your Outlook Web Access via https colon forward slash forward slash your domain slash exchange. Note that it is important to include the https to indicate secure connections between yourself and the server. This means that all information between those two points is secure via encryption. So let's have a look at Outlook Web Access. So here we are in Outlook Web Access on a small business server using Internet Explorer. All I do is put in my network login and my password and select what sort of client I want. In this case, because we're running on Internet Explorer, I'm going to use the premium client and whether I'm on a private or public shared computer. This setting here determines how long the browser timeout is active for. So once I put in my login name and password, I simply click login button to open my email box using Outlook Web Access. And here it is. Again, remember this is all in a browser. It looks very much like Outlook. You have your folder list over to the right, the inbox, calendar, contacts, your emails in the center, and also a preview of the emails on the right hand side. So if I want to create a new email, I simply go up here, select new, and I'm now presented with another pop-up window. I simply type in the name of the user who I want to send to, any CCs or blind CCs, indicate the topic, and as you can see in the area below, I have a rich editing environment. I can select the text, I can make it bold, I can change its font, I can do basically a whole range of things. When I'm happy I can just hit the send button. So seeing that I've sent that email to myself, what I need to do here is hit this button to refresh um, the folders. As you see now I've got a single email displayed, yet this hasn't been updated. So I can simply uh, click away from this, then return to my inbox, and I'll see my new email here. What I can also do is I can change how I see my messages. I can go up here and click Messages, and then select, for example, Two Line View. This gives me a better indication of the dates and the times and the specifics of that email. Now from here I can delete the email, I can forward it, I can reply to the group, um, I can do a whole lot of things. But what I'll do here now is I'll go new, create another new email. What I'll do is I'll select two because I want to do a lookup in my contact list. So I know that I'm somewhere in my contact list, so if I go find, it'll now search the contact list that I have, which is part of my normal outlook. I select that, go to, you'll see it now appear in the to list on my email, I simply close that, write my subject, and then send the email. So again, any users that you have in your contacts or on your server, you can still do a lookup as you would normally on your Outlook. So apart from our inbox, we can access our calendar. 
and our calendar view at the moment as you see is today we can go up here and click in we can look at it a seven day stretch okay we've got a, an event tomorrow here we can simply double click on that and we can bring up the details of that event we can um, add comments to it and again save this all this information is saved on a central exchange server in Small Business Server which means it's accessible via Outlook Web Access over the web but also via your normal Outlook on your desktop so the information will be the same so again we can look at up to a monthly view if we so decide again to create a new appointment I simply select new and put in all the details as you see with standard Outlook I've got the option to do recurrence, I can invite attendees, I can do a whole lot of things which I can normally do in Outlook. But again, this is once again only over a web browser. I can select my contacts and I will see all the contacts that I have in Outlook. Again, I only have the one. If I double click on this, I can bring it up and add more information uh, if I want and save it. I can look at my tasks. Again, I can add new tasks. I can edit any tasks that are here. I can delete tasks if I want to. Another good thing about Outlook Web Access is I can actually access my public folders. So I can simply click in the public folder option. You'll see I get a list of all my public folders and I can interact with them as I would normally using my Outlook with inside my business. Again, I can also set rules for my emails as I do in the normal version of the desktop outlook again I can create rules to handle my incoming mail and finally I have a number of options which I can set with outlook web access whether you're in the office the message options reading pane spelling all that sort of stuff is available via the options selection down here when you finish with web app web access simply select the log off button here in the top right and that will close your session if you don't interact with your session for a period of time it will be closed automatically for you for security purposes so let's have a look at Outlook Web Access in another browser like Firefox again the interface to log in here is very similar I log in with my standard username and password and as you can see it looks similar but not quite the same the same sort of functionality isn't available because it's not Internet Explorer but I can look at my inbox I can open an email simply by clicking on it okay I can reply to it I can look at my calendar and my contacts and my tasks and again, most of the function of the basic functionality that's required to send and receive emails, to view contacts, to look at tasks and calendar is available in Outlook Web Access, whether you're using Internet Explorer or another browser. Again, when I've finished, I simply click the log off and I'll return to the window. I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to watch our video. If you have any questions or feedback, please send them to robert at satinalliance.com.au. You can keep in touch with what we're doing via supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Once again, thank you very much for watching.